Hello, everyone, and welcome to this new edition of Message of Hope. And today I'm with uh, Georgia Bazin and Jack that you can see uh, on her shoulder. Um, Georgia is a transformative coach uh, trained through Michael Neal and the Super Coach Academy. Welcome, Georgia. Hi, Martin. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm very <laughs> fine. Um, I will ask you the uh, the famous question, and is uh, how does having this understanding, how does that help you navigate either lockdown, COVID, or whatever other stressful situation that may uh, show up in your life? It's interesting because I was thinking about this this morning, and because I have days, as you know, we've been in lockdown quite a long time now, and I think we're all getting a bit jaded. And even though I have days where I know I'm okay, I will wake up and go, that is, I've got to leave the house. I've got to see somewhere else other than this. But this understanding makes me know that that is just, just a lot of noise in my head. And even when I hear all that noise in my head, I still know that I'm okay underneath. So no matter what is going on, and I do mean anything that is going on, just remembering, knowing that whatever is occurring outside of me isn't me. brings me eventually back to being okay. And it could take me a day, it could take me a week, it could take me whatever. But I know I'll come back. Because actually, <laughs> I never left. <laughs> so that's really what this understanding does for me. It lets me no, it will pass. And the fact that, and this actually is before lockdown or anything else, because I've had the most beautiful experience of lockdown, having family back together, is the resilience that we all have, that no matter how bad we have stuff that comes into our life that even when we think we couldn't possibly imagine seeing our way through it we we're never going to survive it we do and it may take its toll by way of stressful stuff that we pile on our body but we do get through it. All Even before history. No. Sorry? All through human history. Yeah. All humans had resilience. Mm. But in our lowest points that we think we haven't. Mm. And yet, those are the times that show us that we have. It's amazing, really. So they give us the biggest Christmas present we could ever wish for every day. Just quietly. And to know that we live in a world of, of perception. Mm -hmm. And our perceptions is lying to us you know, all the time. And yeah. And I think one of the big things that I've come to realize is we are literally all, we kind of go, oh, well, the universe did this for me or the universe did that for me. And I did that for a really long time until all of a sudden we go, I am the universe, I'm part of it. So 
we are all walking ourselves home. We are all bringing our best game because we are the best game. When we <laughs> shut up our thinking and know it will go, it will change and it's nothing to be believed. Except for the fact that sparkly shoes are good. That you can believe. <laughs> yeah, there are things that are truer than others. Yes, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and everything with chocolate is also good. Oh, that's true. Yeah, sorry, I forgot that one. That's the other truth. <laughs> But the rest of it, no, we can dismiss it, like the, the sketch stuff. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dear. Laughter is so wonderful for us. Yeah, it's a great remedy. And yeah, like you said, we, we don't have to, um, to believe our thoughts. We can mm. just carry on with what we're doing with more joy. Mm. Well, I was talking to someone this morning and I said to her, you know, we really do have six point, or 7.8 million different realities. Mm -hmm. And she looked at me and then she went, oh my God, I see what you're pointing towards. And it's true. And which one of those is true? Well, of course, all of them are to ourselves. But isn't that so liberating as well to know? And we see that every day. Now you go watch a show or a movie and you talk about it and it looks like nobody saw the same movie or the same show at the same time, right? Mm. So, yeah. So we are, it. My uh, husband and I went to see Phantom of the Opera. He loved it. And I went, it was the same song over and over and over again. Different realities, different realities. But I do have to say, I think I may be one of the only few people who go, Phantom the Opera, no, don't want to see it again. <laughs> so, um, but that's the nature of it, yeah. It is good to remember when stuff is like mm -hmm. happening to us uh, as well. So thank you, Georgia, for, for your time. And if uh, people want to find you, where can they find you? Just type in Georgia Bowser into the internet, the one because there aren't many of us, or well, not that I've met another one, and they'll find me. They'll find me. Well, thank, thank you. you. And uh, thanks, Jack, for being quiet. <laughs> he was, he's just blown off. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, have a beautiful evening. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.